ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys once again for supporting my channel and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I wanted to come out here and talk about the whole Nicki Minaj situation. So if you guys don't know, Nicki Minaj is definitely going through it, okay? So what's going on is this, is we all know Nicki Minaj has never won a Grammy. She hasn't been nominated. And so this past Sunday, BET decided to rub it in her face and it made no sense. So BET ended up posting this on social media. And this is what the post said. Check this out. So BET says, the first time in history it's ever been done by a solo female... Meanwhile, Nicki Minaj is being dragged by her lace front. All right, so you guys just heard what BET posted, and I also posted on my Instagram page. A few people thought it was fake, and I'm like, no, this is a real post. You know what I'm saying? It came from BET directly. So anyhow, once that went viral, Nicki Minaj basically reached out to Lil Wayne, and she posted a conversation of their texting back and forth where she said she was going to pull out of the whole BET experience. If you guys don't know, this summer, her and Young Money were scheduled to be one of the headliners of the BET experience along with Cardi B's group. Okay, but they're going to be headlining on different days. So once she told Little Wayne about that, Little Wayne agreed and he said he was going to have her back and he was also going to pull out. So this is what Nicki Minaj had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Nicki Minaj basically uh, texts Little Wayne and she says, this is what BET posted about me. I'm not performing for that summer show anymore. So Little Wayne replied back and he says, I'm with you. So Nicki Minaj took to her Instagram and she says, loyalty, love him forever, the GOAT, my brother, my boss, my inspiration, hashtag young money. And so I felt like that was a really good thing that Lil Wayne had her back. Nicki Minaj went on to state, young money will no longer be a part of the BET experience or award show. So soon after that, BET decided to come and apologize to Nicki Minaj. And this is what BET wrote. They wrote, statement slash apology from at BET to at Nicki Minaj over the Grammy tweet. They state, BET loves Nicki Minaj. We have supported her from the very beginning of her career and will continue to do so moving forward. Nicki has paved the way for so many performers and has solidified her place as one of the most powerful figures in the music industry. Unfortunately, the respect we have for Nicki was violated by this post that should have never been written. The post does not reflect how we feel about Nicki and further does not reflect our company's values. We deeply apologize for the hurt, disappointment, and confusion that this post caused. We are committed to doing everything we can to address the situation. We understand Nikki's position and look forward to continuing our dialogue with her. Finally, we apologize to all of her fans. This should have never happened. Honey. You're damn right, bitch. It should have never happened, okay? Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Point blank, period. I'm always going to be fair. And I thought that what BET did was very low vibrational and classless. You can congratulate somebody without tearing somebody else down, okay? Like I always said on this channel, what's for you is for you and what's for me is for me. My blessings shouldn't block your blessings and vice versa. Cardi B winning a Grammy doesn't take away from any of Nicki Minaj's accomplishments or what Nicki Minaj has done so I thought that the intern or whoever the hell that was who posted that that was very very foul of her okay so Nicki Minaj basically also stated that she's been blacklisted from the Grammys and that the same guy who stated that Ariana Grande refused to uh, perform his name is Ken he supposedly has been blacklisting Nicki Minaj for seven years so she said that she would talk about it on her radio show so now let me go ahead and shout out these two barbs okay I know there's a few mushmouth barbs who think that I just hate Nicki Minaj and all this stupid shit that I'm on certain people's payrolls and all the dumb stuff that they say. But the barbs who know me, who fuck with me, know it's nothing like that. We talk every day. They stay in my DM. Regardless of what I'm posting about Cardi, they're in my DM sending me stuff 24-7 about Nicki Minaj. So shout out to my favorite Barb. Me and her have been down for months now. She talks to me constantly, gives me all types of Nicki Minaj tea. Shout out to Chanel Dummy. I see you, girl, okay? And then to my newest Barb that I approved into my DMs, because I don't approve a lot of y'all, because a lot of y'all just be trying to damn cuss me out. But this Barb was cool. Shout out to Roman Revenge. Both of these women were dropping me all types of tea, okay, in my DM. Because if you guys don't know, Chanel Dummy ended up finding the picture of the girl who was behind the post about Nicki Minaj. 
This is the chick that was working for BET. I'm not going to put her name out there. I would send her direct link. I was sent all her information, okay? But this is the woman who wrote that about Nicki Minaj. And like I said, at the end of the day, it was not okay. It says more about her than it does say about Nicki. This girl was trying to be messy and it since backfired on her. I heard she lost her position at BET. Okay. So literally, she has no followers. She has like three followers. So you can tell she was obviously feeling some type of way. And maybe this young woman was more of a Cardi fan, but what she didn't realize is that when she made that post, it also ended up affecting Cardi B as well because because people started attacking Cardi B, talking about Cardi B must have been paying BET to attack Nicki Minaj when that wasn't the case. This girl acted out on her own and she posted that. So anyway, Chanel Dummy and a few other barbs ended up finding her. So if that's not crazy enough, poor Nicki Minaj was still going through it last night. Chanel Dummy and Roman Reloaded, they ended up sending me this crazy story. And basically there's a cookie shop in Miami and so Chanel Dummy was like, you know, sis, look at this shit. This, you know, this Spanish owner of this cookie shop is going in on Nicki Minaj. And so this is what this cookie said. Check this out. So the cookie says, I want you like Nicki Minaj wants a Grammy. And when I tell you them damn barbs, they came out the woodwork and they drug his ass. The barbs literally came together. They went to the man's Yelp page and they just started posting all types of just crazy negative stories, negative reviews. It was insane. They were dragging this man and his cookies for the damn filth, okay? The bars were not here for the Nicki Minaj disrespect. There was unicorns all up and down their Instagram pages. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these comments that Chanel Dummy and Roman Reloaded were sending me about what the barbs were up doing all yesterday. Go ahead and check this out. The barb said, today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. Nigga, what? what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I go hard, cuz. Take off my flag asking how gangster I was. I go hard, cuz. My nigga. <laughs> Y'all not have to insert that damn meme. I ain't heard it in a while. But yes, they had time that day. When I tell you, they done took that man's yelp from having like four or five stars down to about a three. They've been dragging him all over social media. The company is called Night Owl Cookies and they are not here for the foolishness. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, all of this unwarranted hate for Nicki is not called for. Okay, you know, Cardi won the Grammy. She didn't win one. BET was all the way bogus for that. They could have congratulated Cardi without bringing down Nicki Minaj. And this guy, he was obviously looking for attention while he was trolling and saying that. That probably wasn't the best thing to do because we all know Nicki Minaj has a crazy ass fan base, okay? So this entire situation is crazy, but Nicki Minaj will be okay. At the end of the day, regardless if she has a Grammy or not, it cannot take away from her accolades. She's put in work in the industry. She's a dope writer. She makes dope music. And so it's not gonna take anything away from Nicki Minaj. Liking Cardi should not take nothing from Nicki Minaj. Just because you're happy that Cardi won a Grammy does not mean that you have to diss Nicki Minaj. At the end of the day, we need to let both of these women live their damn life, okay? So I'm gonna be very interested to see what she says on the next radio show. 
because she said that she's going to go into detail about the whole Ken situation, the guy who's the head of the Grammys. So it's going to be very interesting to see the tea that she ends up spilling, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Nicki Minaj and her drama with BET, do you guys agree with her? Do you feel like she was in the right to pull out of the concert because of how BET did her? How do you guys feel about the BET intern who posted that? And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about Night Owl Cookies trying to come for Nicki Minaj and then getting drugged in the end? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Thank <laughs> you.